The recent craze over powerful drawings has led to a lot of us idly dreaming about what it would we do with a sudden influx of cash. Given the dream that many of us have for a reliable surge in passive income, hitting the magic numbers holds an obvious hold on our imagination. It can even be fun as a thought experiment. Just what would we do with our time and energy if money truly was no longer an object? Would we travel, focus on our hobbies? Would we give back to charity? There's no harm in some idle speculation. Heck, it might even be worth a, a few dollars for a ticket once in a while. But allow yourself to have that fantasy of speculating what would happen if you were to hit those lucky numbers. But too many people seem to regard the lottery as an actual viable option for ensuring their financial security. In fact, a survey conducted in Canada by the Bank of Montreal found that 30% of respondents were actually banking on a lottery winning to fund their retirement and get ahead in life. And I'm sure the numbers would be similar in the US. Like any investment strategy, actually making this pay off would require a commitment to being involved in the lottery, not just playing occasionally on a whim, but making lottery tickets a regular purchase, ongoing in your budgeting. Now, this is a recipe for long-term ruin. If you're ill-informed enough to believe that you can game your chances at prevailing against some very, very bad odds, the likelihood is good that you are misreading the numbers across the board in your financial dealings. The chances of winning most lotteries are exceedingly small. The odds of winning the massive Powerball recently in the US was about 290 million to one. This would be the equivalent to flipping a coin 28 times and landing on heads every single time. This is born out of the reality that many lottery contests continually ratchet up their stakes and as no winners emerge. Pervasively, the ballooning prize only compels more and even non-players to come out of the woodwork for a shot at the brass ring. You're far better off playing the odds in your favor. If you can reframe your thinking to see the entire world as one big casino, all of life as a game, you may find that there are plenty of competitions out there that you can play that offer far better chances of winning. When you choose an academic focus or vocation, you tend to focus on the fields that offer the greatest returns or which your skills give you the greatest competitive advantage. Why not do the same in where you spend your money? There are far better potentials for return on investment if you devote those dollars to playing the lottery elsewhere. Even just a few dollars a week that you can devote to your retirement account or to your professional development funds make a huge difference. You can win the real lottery by taking charge of your own life and deciding your own future through aggressively pursuing opportunities in business and real estate. It's true that there are no guarantees of success, but the odds are much better than simply throwing a bottle in the ocean, which is what buying a lottery ticket really essentially breaks down to once you crunch all the numbers closely. If you're really looking for a sure thing, you could do no better than to pay off debt, which really amounts to a guaranteed 100% return on your investment and will allow you to sleep far more soundly at night. You might also consider the fates of so many lottery winners. The media landscape is dotted with stories of winners that took home the big prize, only to suffer consequences they never anticipated when they were handed that oversized check. They often find it extremely difficult to cope with the pressure of inheriting a sudden windfall. When you have every option and whim available to you all of a sudden, you can lose track of all prudence and the need for planning. Winners can let their imaginations and appetites run rampant, quickly diluting their wealth away with fancy electronics and flashy cars. Material goods are a pleasurable thing if you have made trade-offs and sacrifices to reach them. But being released like a kid in a toy store is often a surefire path to a hollow feeling of meaninglessness if you are solely focused on the toys for yourself. You often see the same syndrome in celebrities and professional athletes who hit it back, but fail to stash away reserves for a rainy day, preferring to spend it all on flash and bling in the moment. We can tell a lot about a person by how they grapple with a sudden windfall. 
but we were remiss to not note that this is a mania that can happen to anyone. There's a pretty good service uh, rendered by the limits of finite money. It compels us to make trade-offs and decisions about what we value and how we want to spend our time. Unmoored from any boundaries whatsoever, many of us are left wondering what lies in our core after all. They also can find themselves the target of one unwanted attention and pleas to help from, from others, especially as many states continue to publicly list the names of lottery winners. The request for help and attempts to induce the winner to feel guilty can seem to be never-ending. Sadly, there have been even many tragic instances involving winners coming in to harm from others determined to get their own slice of the winnings. Furthermore, there is something about unearned wealth that can just be unfulfilling. As nice as a fancy as it is for all of your needs to suddenly be taken care of, a big positive aspect of income is the pride you generate by generating your own way in the world. Even picking the stocks and mutual funds in your own IRA or 401k depends on the varying degrees of skills, giving you a greater sense of pride and accomplishment that gives you returns on your portfolio that you build over time. I assure you that you will have a much greater sense of pride by taking on the path and investing in your own talents and abilities. You will also have the benefit of being able to only flaunt your wealth to the degree that you want keeping your name firmly out of the winner list of, in the newspaper. So what do you consider to be your winning lottery ticket? How can you best improve your odds of succeeding in the game of finance and freedom and life? I would suggest that you begin with focusing on the games in which you are most able to thrive, which include focusing on making the most of your skills and personal capacity to address the challenges. Obviously, there is a degree of luck in all success in one's career, but it's only foolhardy to rely solely upon luck as your basis for getting ahead in the world. So think about what it is that you can do today to change your luck, to change your lottery, and actually win your own personal lottery of life. And for more information, and more trainings, visit my website, TonyNewmeyer.com. Follow me on YouTube and Facebook, and be sure to always live rich.